Well guys, today we are going to be making for you Aki and Saltfish Wrap. We've made Aki and Saltfish on the channel before, but now we're making the Aki and Saltfish Wrap. Of course, you're going to boil your Aki and Saltfish together, then you'll drain that off properly. And you prepare to fry this up nicely in some oil. You're not going to overdo the oil just enough. Uh, maybe you'll do about, hmm, I'm just going to say about a quarter cup or less of oil because you want this to be well done in the oil. Now you add in your garlic. Let it just uh, sit there and just saute around a little bit. You're not going to burn your garlic. You're just going to saute it around a little bit in the oil ensuring that the flavor start to release then you'll be adding in your salt fish which you washed and picked after boiling picked out all the bones and stuff and rinse it off after you boil it even so you just combine it now with your garlic sauteing it nicely around in the oil releasing that flavor getting it all together to create that flavor that you want because you want to ensure that when you finish this meal the salt fish tastes like it has absorbed the flavors of the seasonings and the herbs that we're adding here in this recipe okay guys so right about now you can see that we are getting ready to add our other seasonings to it now we put in a piece of thyme yes that's because you want the thyme to release the flavor in the oil as well so you put that in and you saute it around a little bit until it start, you start smelling it. Yes. Then you add your other seasonings. Now this is red bell pepper and tomatoes and some scallion. We didn't have any green bell pepper, but never mind that. We're going right ahead with our recipe. Nothing is gonna stop this show today. Sometimes you're cooking, not everything is available, but if most of it that you want to use is available, or the essentials as we would say, then you go right ahead and cook up a storm. So here we're going, having these seasonings nicely sauteed in the oil this smell is so good up in here wow mm, smell that i can smell the garlic and the thyme as usual releasing now we have our ackee that we have drained off properly of all the water we're just combining it into this at this time that's where we are now combining the ackee with all this seasoning and the salted fish we have a full video of ackee and small fish on the video on our channel already but basically we're just doing it in a different way for you today we're combining it with another element that you hadn't seen before because you know ackee and salt which is jamaica's national dish and we love to have that in many ways whether with rice or ground provision fried dumpling or you name it but today we're going to do it with some wraps okay so we're just sauteing this nicely also getting those flavors to combine mm -mm -mm. and you want to just turn this gently notice i'm not stirring it like i'm making any drinks right because i don't want to make the aki all crushed out to a paste we just want to turn it nicely so that it gets nice and warm and soak up the flavors of these herbs in this pot here yes now we're just gonna add a little black pepper because you know when you're doing your ackee you love to just sprinkle a little bit of black pepper on it maybe just about um le even less than a quarter teaspoon you don't want to overdo it just lightly dust it over it because that adds a little extra zing to it you know of course look at that uh-huh look at that don't you just want to dig in looking at it don't you just want to dig in and have a taste of this loveliness that we have here wow this is awesome mm. and you see we have enough oil in it to let that aki fry and get that flavor because that's what happened when you're cooking aki you want to ensure that you have enough oil in it so that it just sizzles through the aki with the flavors of the seasoning when you're gonna serve this up now you use a nice porous spoon or you need a regular spoon and just pull it to the side so that you'll eliminate the oil don't worry about that like i've told you in another video oh wow look at this look at that tell me this isn't something tell me this isn't mouth watering it is absolutely mouth watering guys it is trust me i can tell you it smells fabulous and i promise you it will also be tasting fabulous we can tell aki and saltfish jamaica national dish combining this with something different today not our regular fried dumpling or ground provision or even rice or rice and peas we are doing it with 
a wrap today there you go that's the wrap using your regular tortilla as a base you want to ensure that you don't spread this aki all over the tortilla or the wrap because you don't want when you're folding it in it just squeezing out and making a mess all over the place so you put it slightly to the center there you know put a uh, not too much just about over a, a large serving spoon then you want to fold it from one end you see carefully onto the center or to the end of that once you've covered that section you just roll it over like that gently roll it nice over just wrapping that up so why it's called the aki wrap we are wrapping it up right about now look at that see that now the ends you want to secure the ends you push it in like that ensure that you just tuck it in at the ends gently and you'll find that once you started to put something any uh, content you put on the wrap it starts to feel a little soft and more pliable like it you know easier to maneuver it's not just stiff so there you have it we've wrapped this up now and of course you want to just slice it nicely we we'll put it a little slant so that you know it adds to the aesthetic slant that knife and get that nice shape of the cut you see you get a clean cut you want to use a sharp knife for this so that you're not crushing it when you're trying to cut through it all right there's another one for you just watch it slowly again a little bit into the center basically almost in the center you're not gonna spread it all over as i said because that will make it way too difficult or even impossible for you to wrap it into one row right so you put a little there to the side putting in some of those veggies in it at the same time oh yes everything must be wrapped up in this all of the ingredients mm. slowly wrap that in slowly easy does it look at that there you go uh-huh wrap it wrap that tortilla around that aki and salt fish secure the ends once again so that you don't have it falling out while you're taking a bite yes both ends you want to secure you just push it in a bit and that's it if you're having a little difficulty pushing it in you can use a fork or something to help you squeeze the end right in like that that's it there you go that's it just like that you want to be doing it gently and then you turn it up to the side now and get your very sharp knife once again and we're gonna make another slanted cut it's just for aesthetics you know and as i said you need a sharp knife because you don't want this splashing and squeezing all out when you're cutting it see that nice clean cut yes that's what you're aiming for right there you go how do we look now we're going to put this down on a little bed of lettuce you know vegetables are always welcome in just about any meal so we're going to use this to decorate our plate nicely and then we gently place our wraps or aki and salt fish wraps on it look at that look at the veggies in it you see that how beautiful look at the colors guys popping red gold and green you know how we love those colors yes try to set this up nicely that it looks quite appealing you don't just put them down on the plate you know your presentation is a major part of the meal preparation look at that there you have it aki and salt fish wrap just like that on a bed of lettuce now guys if you enjoy this video please remember to give us a thumbs up share and subscribe until next time see you ciao